Okay, it's spitting with rain and I shouldn't have my phone out, but it's in, it's on. Cable there, cable there, all the cables there. I still got that out, obviously, because it's not live yet. But we just hooked back in the charger. So 54 volts. And she's charging at 2.7 amps. Again, it's still raining. This is so cool, I'm so excited. We've got mess everywhere. Electrician stuff. He's, um, the electrician's also added, I didn't have this one here before, but he's added this one. So I got the AC out, but he's put a second AC in here. So I've got AC in, in, the, in the switchboard, which is what I had to have done, but he said, if I put an AC disconnect in here, I can just switch them both off and it completely isolates it. And you know, if I have a problem, which really, I don't want any problems. Well, it's all tied in nice and neat and tidily. I'm not allowed to touch it apparently. I'm just doing a video. Everything's all buttoned up. I have not got the solar in yet. The solar goes there. I've got to run the cables properly for the solar for that. But she's not turned on yet, hasn't been commissioned. 54.43 volts. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. You're going to get sick of these videos, but it's freaking awesome. It's just great. I love it. <laughs> Alrighty, our YouTubers, let's get this. This is either going to work or blow up. Either way, it'll make for exciting YouTube videos. Uh, let's do this one-handed. Radio. I'm gonna ask, well, that's everything's off over here. I got a thumbs up. Okay, so that should. That was a big crack, wasn't it? There's probably a lot of amps going through. Oh yeah, that's on. Now, I don't know what I have to do. Oh, there we go. It just takes a little bit of time. Yep. AC. I've got no AC coming in at the moment. I've got to go and transfer that switch. The charge light is flashing, which means the solar should come good. So the solar's coming in at 80 volts. Um, so 48 watts. Okay, let's turn the switch on. So that should... Oh, 230 volts, so that's good. So that's working. Uh, makes for boring video watching me fucking touch shit and I, the voltage is still there. Is that turning on? No, we got to turn. Okay, so we've got to turn. Now that one is the main one, so that'll turn on this. That'll turn on that. Right, turn the computer on. Is the computer going to boot? The computer boots. So we've got power. Well, nothing blew up. That's fantastic. All right, yeah, let's let this computer boot up. Um, we'll get set up. I've got to do a little, few little things with the charging and um, stuff on the computer just to program that the way I want it. And we'll be good to go. Let's try. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we got all the everything hooked up. We're in battery mode. We're just charging at five amps with a what is that? Uh, Two hundred seventy watt load. So now we will go inside and hook up a laptop so I can remote into this computer. And we've still got a lot of things to do. We've still got to change the charge parameters and and um, back to grid and all that sort of stuff. We've got to set it all up, but that's not worth a video to be honest. So it's all up and running. Happy as a pig and shit. We got tubers, 4,000 watt load. We're still on battery. It's actually copping more than 4,000 watts. Check that out. 85 amps. Microwave's gone off. It's, um, I'll show you around my kitchen, but it's a sh friggin' mess. Can, um, can you turn the kettle off? And drops back to 200. Okay, so 50. It's 53.84 volts. 
Okay, let's turn everything back on again. So 53.8 down to 52.1. So voltage drop is one and a half volts. Give or take, you know, my ability to do maths on the fly. An 84 amp draw. 4,000 4, watts. I'm sorry, but that is an outstanding. And it's sustaining that load. It's not even a problem. Ah, oh, I am... This is awesome. I'm going to go play some more YouTube. You watch this and drool. Cheers.